In this presentation, we will talk about browsing the internet and how to know if you can trust the information in a website. Let's begin. There are two types of software needed to find information on the internet, the browser and the search engine. The browser allows you to find and view websites. The search engine allows you to use keywords to find websites, images, and documents. There are different browsers you can use in a PC computer. These are Microsoft Edge, Google Chrome, and Mozilla Firefox. Regardless of the browser you use, there are basic tools all share. Let's take a look. In the address bar, you can type the address of a website. This address is known as the URL. There are two navigation buttons. The back button allows you to go back to the immediately previous page you visited and the forward button brings you back to the latest page you visited. Sometimes websites do not load properly. The refresh button will load the website page again. You can open different websites and move between them using tabs. Click on the plus sign to open a blank tab. Click on the X to close a tab. Browsers also allow you to mark websites you visit often. This is known as bookmarking or favorites. To bookmark a website, click on the star. To locate the website, click on Menu and select Bookmarks or Favorites. Finally, within a website, you will find hyperlinks or links for short. These are words in a different color and sometimes underlined that will open another website page when you click on them. A search engine allows you to find information by typing words related to what you are looking for. These words or phrases are known as keywords. There are three very popular search engines, Bing, Yahoo, and Google. Type the URL of the search engine in the browser address bar. The search engine page appears. Then, type the keyword in the search box. For example, let's find information about the Immigrant Education Society in Calgary. Then, click on Google Search. A list of websites that contain the keyword is displayed. The next step is to choose and visit the websites listed and decide whether or not the information they contain can be trusted. Try to answer these five questions when deciding if the information in a website can be trusted. Is the information relevant? What is the purpose of the website? What is the website's top-level domain? Is a website from a reputable author? And what is the date of publication or latest update? Let's use these five questions in the following example. Meet Lisi. She is looking for information about how taxes work in Canada. She types in Google search Taxes Canada. Lisi decides to visit this website because the website's URL ends in .ca, which means it's a Canadian website. The name of the website is the name of a government agency, and the date is recent. Once Lizzie visits the website, she scrolls down and goes to the About page. 
After reading this page, she confirms this is a trusted site. The website has information about what Lizzie was looking for. And the author is the Government of Canada. Finally, remember that to find information on the Internet, you need a web browser, a website address, or a search engine and keywords. To trust the information from a website, look for the information relevancy, the website's purpose, the top-level domain of the website, the reputation of the author, and the date of publication. This concludes our presentation. Thanks for watching. Thank you.